When we develop a project on our local machine using a development server, we have such a wonderful thing as a traceback. Exactly that. The very errors that we see in the browser and terminal are actually a wonderful thing. It's remarkable in that it tells us where we have a mistake and what happened before it happened. Using the traceback, we can dig it out and fix what's needed. We also use prints extensively. Well, everyone does that. There are also tests, but everyone uses prints anyway because uh, they are faster than tests. But this is on our local machines. But when we deploy our project to the server, and then in a case of an error, we will not be able to correct it. Most likely, we may not even know about the presence of errors or we will find out about errors in six months and only if users will write to the chat or email that he pressed the button but nothing happened or he cannot wait for the email in any way or he cannot log in although he is registered and entered everything correctly, etc. Well, you never know, anything can happen. And no prints and tests will help us figure out the situation. In any case, we will not be able to correct anything if we do not know anything about what data was inputted and what was happening in general. The standard Python library has a login module, which allows us to build a monitoring system and record everything that happens in the logs. And we can say that the login model is a very, 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 very advanced print that we use to debug the code and record how the code works and what happens there without us. This monitoring system is universal. It can be turned on in one line and turned off in the same way in one line. The same cannot be said about prints. Logs can exist in various forms, they can be written to files, they can be output to the console, sent by the email. You can create your own logger so that information about the status of your project is sent to you via telegrams or Slack or by SMS and so on. Everything seems to be great, but there is one little problem with logging model. Its architecture is not obvious and the way it works is not exactly what we actually expect from it. And this is not at all what we are all used to. And I can guarantee you that when you run into it, and you will definitely run into it, you will just go nuts. So anyway, the login module is one of the essential things to know how to use. By the way, why to use login module? Maybe there are some other tools. Unfortunately, you have to know how to use standard Python login model because all big guys like Django, for example, use it. The topic is extremely important, in fact, and there are practically no really useful tutorials, in my understanding. And thus I created a short course, there are six videos, on the topic of login in Python. The course is available for my patrons. What is in this course? Just look at its landing page. The link will be in the description to this video. By the way, my Patreon has already two courses and all source code for all projects is accessible for the same price. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.